There we go. And, nope, that's not the bullet button. Got it. Also, can I open this somehow? Uh, you. The floor. Sure, I just shoot it. Okay. I don't know what I expected there. <sighs> Did it die again on me? Nope, there we go. More buffer. It's, it's too much to ask, I think, tonight. Gee, I wonder what direction I should go. <laughs> you don't know Jason. Sure. Oh, oh. So, that's probably friendly, right? No? We're good? Alright. Another room full of health. That's nice. Okay, start... Oh! God, how does he walk? Uh. Oh man, I forgot to reload. My bad. I'm just gonna, can I can I take that gun? Nope, nope, can't take that gun. All right, that was a, that was a poor choice. Uh, the, you know the droid probably had it coming, right? Okay. Should I, I mean should I save the droid? There's a probably an achievement for shooting it, right? A bunch of times. Oh, what, what am I doing? Am I reprogramming it? Ow, ow, it's tasing me. Don't tase me, bro. Thank you, saddest lesbian. I know, right? Just like, there are other girls. Hey, hey. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I just... Fall on them and explode. Alright. Achievement! Look out! There's clearly a gun that that guy dropped right here, right? Thank you, Big W. <laughs> Not letting you down, yeah! Or you, Jeep. Thank you, Apogee Ap B. Apogee. Okay, well, I have one health block out of two. And apparently, I care nothing for other guns. I've made a commitment to this pistol, and I'm just going to stick with it. Probably because it has infinite bullets. Somebody should tell Jason that shooting them repeatedly is not the only way to deal with things. See? I did kill the droid for a reason. That was absolutely required. <laughs> Alright. So, the question mark is... Item! Acquired item. Objective. Save room. Well, that sounds like a great idea. That would explain all the health. Aha, got it. Nope, oh, sorry, fell in a hole trying to go through that door. It's a perfectly normal thing for a person to do. Saved, okay. Oops. Thank you, Tabitha. Uh, it's going all right. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think he will. Though, you know, it'd be more of a surprise if he called into work. Um, I uh, haven't really... Cool. 
done much Dark God planning yet, just because it's uh, not something. It's like we we finally got the Oculuses in, but it's gonna be a while before we have enough for everybody to go around. So uh, it's not quite ready yet. Plus, the Minecraft official version uh, that will support Oculus isn't out yet. Oh! That's what you get for being so poorly dressed. Oh, there we go. Aiming. Okay, can I... Just a little bit? Nope, he ducked. He's a better Jedi than I am. Uh, okay. Oh good, it's one of those games where you can swim. You never know until you try. Though, I use the term swim very loosely when it comes to whatever this strange undulation that he is doing. I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Nope. Yep. Yep, here we go. Yep. Yep. Okay. So continue my war on the robots. The robot. Ooh. Found a secret. And I missed. I kind of expected the stairs to have a purpose. Uh, do those explode? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume so. Die, robot! Yeah, hold on. Ow. This guy is amazing. Why isn't he competing in the Olympics? <laughs> Why well, take over the road? Thank you again, Bay Share. Oops! Uh, you know. Normal world concrete stuff. Bye! Look, I can, I can barely manage my day to day affairs. It's, you know, they'll figure out the world conquering stuff as soon as I, I, I become, uh, you know, like, in a position to conquer said world. Seems like there's a lot of nooks and crannies to this base. Hmm. I met an obstruction I just can't shoot my way through. Everything explodes if you try hard? Well, sometimes you have to add some C4. This is how you move rocks, right? You just shoot them repeatedly? I've played video games. Boom, boom. I really thought I was going a secret way, but I feel like I've just ended up in the non-secret way. There's a whole door down there that I didn't explore. Maybe I'll circle back around. Hey, health thing. Uh... Sheila and Lopez are not robot overlords. Oh. Bip! That's why I think of the robot overlords. Or this. Whoops. So that one missed, but this one won't. Right? There we go. Okay, good. Alright. Made it all the way to the bottom. Clearly that was my intent. Precision. Dude does not like crates. But you know what? If they had wheels, it would be fine, because it is appropriate that they should have casters in this context. Robot. Okay. Right, I can, forgot I can sprint, too. He... If that's what that should be called. Got it. Grenades. All right. How many HP does a boulder have? Well, at least it's, uh, two more than my uh, little pistol can deal with. Ooh, I have a grenade. Do I, do I really have to go back up through the air vent? Okay. Uh, <laughs> is this where my journey ends? 
just slamming my head into the ceiling. It's not a weakness. Boxes with wheels are not a weakness. They were just not relevant. Oh, right, grenade. That probably opens doors, right? Yeah, okay, got it. I bet if I'd read that thing, that would have instructed me and such. Uh, I just got a grenade, bro. We, we doing this? We're doing this. Thank you, saluted. I'm gonna guess that goes bluey. Oops! That was a bad, bad throw. He can climb things great, but he's not that good of a throw. He's, he's, the Heisman was lost on him. Is this room full of grenades? Oops! Not safe here. Not safe. Not safe. Uh, uh, uh. Oh god! It kicked my ass. Uh, thank you for subbing. Uh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Fire down, 31. I want you to know how important you are to me. That's why it's didn't... Haha. -ha. Alright, those are reflecting back in my face. Don't, don't feel like he's impressed with me at all. Whoops! Nope, 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 there we go. Ha! Huh. It's one of those things where I'm just not doing the thing it wants me to do, right? Uh, could you go back to the thing that explodes? Just, I mean, there was a, a pipe back there that just had your name on it. Is there, is there like a melee command? Does it want to kiss? Good thing it can't aim through doors. Wait, we go down here? And then... Nope, okay, that's not it either. I'm very safe down here. Uh, what, what do you want from me? There we go. Oh. All right, lunge again. Oops. Nope, that one a good throw. Nope, that was also a bad throw. Clearly, he's got a pattern of these. There we go. Wish I hadn't used up all the health. No, seriously, I love Ghost in the Shell. We don't have to do this. Sure thing, bud. I'll be right there. Be right back. Jason doing. <laughs> oh, sh we've got like a uh, total recall thing going on. There's a tiny person hanging out of the bigger person. Oh, all right. Glass jaw, at least when it comes to bullets. Is, is he sassing me? What stuff? Whoops. I mean, I could chase, but he also told me to go back and get all the stuff I missed. Somewhere. Thank you, Ariana. Congratulations on passing your math, math final. Uh, anything I like plushy? I don't know, it's not a question I normally have to, to, to answer, to be honest. I don't think I've missed anything here. My secret finding flashlight, which I would never take to a hotel. 
Uh, it's coming up empty at the moment. Uh, got it. This is where I entered, isn't it? Yep. Let's go back to the save room real quick. Welcome, Insane Paco Taco. I believe that's a you are a resub, if I remember correctly. Someday I'll figure out how to make it say that. Okay. Ooh. Get to the helipad before it's too late. How do I get one of those awesome suits, and why did it taunt me with it before it even started? Alright, so there's something over there. Where did I miss a thing? It's like, up there? Is there anything up there? I'm gonna have to read a guide to do this game a bit. That's why I don't work in the guide making part of the business. Alright, I'm in the area where the thing is. No. There does not appear to be another item. Do I even twitch alerts? No, not well, apparently. I'm, I'm not the... My, look, my Jedi powers extend to deflecting things, not to uh, con correctly configuring twitch alerts. So it would seem. Doot, doot. Oh, and a good jump. Right, Claire. We should really look into that. Or we could just stay here. Look at the feng shui on this area. Thank you, Freewood Trash. Uh, sure. Happy birthday, Caitlin. All right, these guys are really full of evil guy cliches. Oh, and shrapnel. They're really full of shrapnel. Am I interrogating them while shooting them? You, with a hole in your neck. Oh, okay. That That's a problem. Look, it's some um, invested. We got to figure out what happens to Claire, right? You know, a little bit. <laughs> All right. Make him scream. Okay. So can't shoot it. Thank you, unspoken kibbles. Uh, the Reckoners Trilogy. Uh, I thought it was good, but I, I wish the ending had been a little bit more substantial. I feel like you, you, there's a lot of building that goes into an ending that it, that it's like... Oh yeah, and then, and then it's over. They didn't... Uh, or Brandon Sanderson just didn't spend the time with the last couple chapters that I would have liked. I would have been happier with one or two more chapters at the end. You know, sometimes... Uh, I'm one of those people that always feels that way. Like, I don't like it when they just leave it with like that. It's an open world. You can make with it whatever you want. No, tell me some more about it. Because if I wanted to just make up my own stories, then I would write the book. I know I'm lazy. There we go. Two out of 30? Damn. Damn. That noise. Oh, didn't make it. Alright, anyway. Let's find Claire. They really put a lot of effort into making sure there's no substrate to their secret layer here. Look, there's whole trees and grass growing somehow underground with no sunlight. They should be studying that shit instead of wherever their evil plan is. I've got the next great miracle grow right here. Can you 
Needs more sass. You guys are in full... It's like Stormtrooper effect. They're in full armor, lots of guns, and a guy with a pistol and a backpack is kicking their ass. Ooh, okay. I don't think this is helping me. Thank you, Lightning Flourish. Good night. Um, can I... No. Let's find let's find Claire. You know. Ah, got it. Think you'll hear that? Nah. That's the thing humans do. I don't really want to go in the water again. That did not go well for me last time. The one thing his dad didn't teach him is how to hold his breath. Okay, here we go. Nope, not that way. Go, 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 go. There we go. For the training, Dad. Be nice. What am I not nice? D&D you were playing? A lot. Okay. There we go. I think that's going to be a uh, pretty full-time show. Well, not full-time, but it's uh, at least for the moment, as far as I understand it, going to be uh, a weekly thing. Thank you, Aaron. Bill for the Ryan panties? All right. A cuckoo clock. No. I do not own a cuckoo clock. I don't know that that many people have those these days. Except for uh, things you know, like heirlooms. I wonder if they still make them. I think I have those same Widowmaker unlocks too. I always hate not going the wrong way. Yep. Okay, yep. Yep, he would be fine. I would agree with that. I almost tased myself there because I really didn't see that thing. like there's an object. Wait, what's that? I wonder what purple is. Alright, we'll figure it out later. Mm -hmm. The rainbow thong for the twitch pills. Yeah, that's where you put them. Slide them right down the back. where I keep all my important stuff in the back of my thong. Hmm. Not shooty. I have a mission. Convince Joel Heyman through any means necessary to come on one of your streams. Even for one. Yeah, I don't see that happening. Also, I don't think I've even seen that guy in a while. I mean, it still works for RT, obviously, but I don't... He and I are in totally different buildings these days. 
You might want to take care of the guys on the ground before you start screaming at the air. Well, I guess the helicopter was loud. Oh, there's a mech. Okay. Hope this crate is strong. I'm sorry I made fun of your brethren. Back. Okay. Alright, seriously, dude, throw it further than that. Half a health is not gonna do it. There we go. I'm just gonna leave. Nope, not an option. Okay, kinda was an option. He is basically just playing a hide and seek. Thank you, Digital Agro. I. I. I hear koalas are nice, but they also have chlamydia. So, just think about that. Oh, you noticed. Haha. -ha. Now I'll just run all the way back over here. Nope. Nope. He's on to my tactics. Oh, did I get him? Alright, standing in the open was not the best idea. No more health? No, yeah, there we go. I mean, does this thing really need to die? I feel like we can coexist peacefully. Me hiding under this bridge for the rest of my life like a troll. Him. Up there with the air and food and water. There we go. I feel like that should have splashed on me a little bit. Thank you, Physical. Oh, any thoughts on Death Leopard? Love Katie, Western Australia. Uh, I hear they're not really deaf. But beyond that, I'm a, a musical uh, idiot. Yeah, let's go to the idiot. So, mm hmm. I, I don't know. That is completely unreferenced. I don't know. Man, I was up late. Oh, look, there's a guy. Uh, so I beat him to death and then collapsed. He must have made me tired. <laughs> Aloha, Hark Infinite. Hey, I played with you last night, I believe, in uh, Overwatch. Does it mean I have to do all that again? Okay. Afraid that makes me a little bit more aggro. Claire, no! Damn it! I met her in a bar last night, but she was my everything! Whoops. Yeah, I, I looked over there. That was my mistake. My bad. Thank you, Defarbs. Stanley Cup? Uh, I mean, you, you know I'm all about them Sharknados, right? Is that the right answer? I don't, I really don't know. Thank you, Ran Ray. Ran Rai. Hope you have a fantastic evening. Ashley. What's up is, uh, you know, 
playing a game that's really old. But they made it new looking, and I'm getting some achievements. Thanks, uh, Record Liz Love. Welcome. Resounding? Boy, Nightbot has got some sass. Hello, Lane. Thanks for joining us. Whoops. Damn it, I was looking at the chat again. Oop. Bye. I swear it makes that noise from, uh... Little, little, law. Sorry, Metal Gear. That's you've been noticed noise. I should make that one of my like sub noises or something. I can't say it right. Thanks, Aaron. That's not a good throw. Uh, I do not own an eight-track player. Thank you. I'm not from 1972. <laughs> but. Uh, if Gavin married Meg, would you still refer to as Turney, or would you awkwardly say free? Hmm. You know, it'd be interesting to see if they, uh, if she actually took his name. I could see her not doing it, at least professionally. At least, uh, my wife assures me that that's totally normal. But, uh, when you're, you know, Built up a career like that, you uh, get kind of invested in your name a little bit, so. Really? It's one. There we go. Thank you, Bailey. I will be in <coughs> LA for Let's Play Live uh, for most of that week, to be honest, because I will also be attending E3 in some capacity. So, um, Emma's trying to dig her way through my door. See if I can get to the top of this and not die immediately. Uh, so, meetup is possible. I'll let you know as soon as I know more about what my schedule is going to be like. Since right now I have no idea. But, uh, yeah, I'll be there. I think I fly in Monday and I fly out Saturday. So, if I have a chance, I'll see if maybe I can do a, uh, a meetup of, of some kind. But uh, there's no telling. I, I think it is pretty common, actually, that the, nowadays that spouses don't take their significant other's names. It does not bother me in the slightest, to be honest. Uh, the kid's still end up with my name, so we're all bonded one way or the other. Thank you again, hyper hyperactive arsonist. Subnoise Edgar Mooing. I don't know, again, the age of Edgar is is on the wan. The Wayne? The Wayne. I don't know who this Wayne guy is. I don't want to let him in. Alright. She's going to sit on something, though. I guarantee it. I am. Were you lonely out there? Come on. There you go. All right. Emma has joined us. Well, it's I actually should make an emote of Emma just because she's the one most likely to show up for a stream. Emma, say hi. Yeah, that's what she's got. Wayne. Wax and wane. Oh, dude, I just totally got that. Wow. Uh, that's me being stupid and not realizing that Wax and Wayne, uh, that would be the <clears throat> main characters from the later Mistborn series uh, by Bren, uh, Brandon Sanderson. Uh, Wax Waxawillion and Wayne are Wax and Wayne. Hmm. Well done, Brandon. And welcome, Kurad. Kurad. Should I jump in this hole? I'm going to jump in this hole. 
This, there's got to be something down there, right? Oh, yeah, there is. For any of you that uh, are unfamiliar with that series, it's... Uh, thank you, Aaron. I do not own a globe uh, or map or an atlas. I think uh, those things are uh, all items that I may once have had, but now see no purpose in keeping thanks to the internet. So, uh, Welcome, Frizzical. So now my phone is all of those things, and I probably disposed of any uh, overlap in a move. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh, get... oh, thank God. There's got to be an achievement for killing all these things. The Wax and Rain, Wayne Quadrilogy. Uh, I don't know that it's going to be a quadrilogy, even. It's uh, showing every earmark. I just finished the Bands of Mourning, uh, which is the most recent one, if I remember correctly. So, oh wait, is there a newer one? That's the most recent one, I think, is an audiobook, but I need to look it up. There certainly seems, I think he said that for sure there's going to be one more in that arc. And then there's a potential that he's going to jump to the future again. So, if you're familiar with the original... Uh, nope, can't jump back up there. Thanks, Nom fan. Uh, I'm sorry you're sick, Amy. I hope you feel better. Um, but if you're familiar with the, with the original Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson, this is like 300 years later. Er, can't get there. Thanks, Xena, 1016. I'm sure I can get up there later. Uh, and I think he said that there's a potential for him to go... He's going to fin finish this arc and then jump to the future again. Thank you, Mad Queen. Uh, I still have the Diet Coke shoes. They're, uh... If I'm honest, it's, you know... Not terribly comfortable for everyday wear. So... Uh-oh. Thank you, That's Crazy Talk. I've never been to Seattle. Like th there's cool things to see, like the Space Needle and stuff. So you've got a thing and a suggestion of possible things. Someday I get the ability to breathe underwater, right? Um, I would love to go to Seattle, so maybe I'll I'll hit a Pax at some point here. Carrie's moo. <laughs> uh, Silent Tsubasa. I uh, I well I play D and D now. Professionally, uh, but still not well. Doesn't seem safe. Maybe that deer head will protect me. It's like being back in Georgia. Alright. Isn't there something about you can, like, run on the water? Or... Probably not in this part. He wants to do more than jump to a modern-day analog and then a futuristic one, Lazy Gamer 14 says. Which would be really weird. Since he's already basically, like... Uh, the premise of the thing is that, you know, that... that, that one... Well, you know, I'm not going to go through the whole premise, but... It seems like the at the point that he's already reached with this quadrilogy, he's almost bred the special abilities out of his... Uh... I don't want to say races, uh, out of the people of the, his world. So if it goes further into the future, unless they really figure out a way to work around that, which, I mean, they're talking about ways to potentially get around it, but not not in a way that seems like it would completely address the issue of just, you still had to have somebody that could do it. Um, so... If we got all the way to the future, they'd just be like, no, this is just regular world now that used to have special abilities. You probably end up with just like, oh, now now here's the hero character that somehow has reacquired them or something. <laughs> well. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to explain it or, you know, delve too far into the, the Mistborn stuff because it's a good read. You should absolutely read it if you're into that sort of thing. So, uh, I don't want to spoil anything. Thank you, Contus. <laughs> I 
Oh, believe me, I've still got the fall clutching my chest thing in my back pocket. Just waiting. Just waiting for the moment to pull that back out. Thank you, Saluted. No, Tampa did not treat me well. I mean, I actually, I like the city... Oh, and I blew myself up. I like the city just fine, but uh, while I was there... Uh, well, first someone backed into me at Chick-fil-A. That was awesome. And then uh, someone broke into our... Well, I assume they didn't break in. They just went into our apartment complex and stole half of my wife's engine. Uh, while we were there, you know, just, they... Oh, no, he's still there. Really be great if we could shoot over there. There we go. Uh, they took the valve cover off the engine. They literally disassembled the engine of my wife's car from in the parking lot of our apartment complex. Also, it's, ha it's like, hot and humid as hell there. I mean, again, food was great. There's, uh... There's a lot of really nice things about Tampa, uh, but uh, the crime was a little bad, and it's miserably, miserably warm. MP50. How do you steal half an engine? They they literally open they open the hood, they pop the hood of her car. Well, they broke it into the car, pop the hood of her car. They took apart the engine. The valve cover of the engine is is basically the top cover of the engine itself, <clears throat> and. Uh, they also took a couple other things. They took like the uh, the clock out of the dash, so they had a very specific list of parts that they were very interested in. Um, but uh, the, uh, the thing is, at the time she had a uh, it was an Acura, and Acuras apparently have compatible parts with uh, Hondas, and they a lot of Honda racing in that area, so some of the speculation was that somebody just took it to supercharge a Honda. Probably should have just... Uh, do I have infinite ammo for this too? Awesome. We're going to have a good time. Are you having a good time? No, Jasper, it's not a big deal. Again, there's a lot of stuff I actually miss about Tampa. Um, there's, uh, especially going to Burns Steakhouse. If you're ever in Tampa, Burns Steakhouse is amazing. It's old school, so, I mean, it's got some things to it that are, um, like, I'm trying to think of even how to, nip, so, we're not, we're not concerned about that guy. Anybody? Anybody? You? No? All right. I think I like this place. The old don't give a crap. Um, Burn Steakhouse though is amazing. It's it's old school but delicious. God, they've got a uh, wine reduction sauce for the steaks. Oh, mm, so good. Uh, they used to have a uh, thank you Kiara Noir, Kiara Noir, home from Momocon. Danny. Thank you, Danny. Um, let's see. I just, there's so many people to kill. Kill. I, just don't, I don't even know where I want to start. I went southern there for a second. There's so many people I want to kill. Whoop. Another whoop. Oh, they brought in the big guns. Oomp. Do I have a lot? Nope. I do not have infinite grenades. Can I, uh... There we go. Welcome, Miss Parker91. I'm very sad to hear that you, uh, recently left Peter, but I'm sure it was for the best. Thank you, Anonymous. Uh... People uploading uh, parts of my streams. Well, for the moment, I'm not doing it, so I kind of understand the impulse. Eventually, I will probably start posting some of it somewhere, uh, at which point I will probably... Uh, well, you know, I'm still fine with it. I don't care. 
for the time being, once I start posting them myself, I'd appreciate it if, if you didn't, but for the stuff before that, go for it. Thank you, Purple Jane. Uh, signing the lease on your first apartment. Make sure you uh, giving. This is I'm, this is like extreme advice giving. Thank you for resubbing Stinacat. <clears throat> um, make sure your roommates are in, and you're cool on all the terms of everything, because that's the fastest way to uh, get yourself in trouble. Is end up with a roommate that is not going to uh, abide by something and get you in trouble. All right, seriously, dude, let's not do that. Let's throw them. That's what I'm looking for. Until I ran out. All right, well. Bullets? Yeah, bullets do a little. It's gonna be a long night, but we'll get him. Good night, Game Hunter. Sorry about the buffering. Could be on my end. I'm not sure. Seems like a really inefficient way to kill a thing made of entirely metal. I mean, I'm gonna win this. Can we just can we just call it a night? No. Okay. Despite ricocheting, those are clearly hurting you. Thank you, Mad Queen. Do you ever accidentally stay up all night watching YouTube videos? Uh, not really YouTube videos, but uh, I, I've done it recently. The most recent time that that has happened to me is was with uh, probably whoa, cool guys don't stop jumping into explosions. Uh, the most recent time that I stayed up too late watching something was probably Jessica Jones. I'm only about halfway through the new Daredevil series. Uh, Frank is our uh, DM for the D&D series. He's also, if you're familiar with the original immersion, the very first one with the, uh, the two ninjas that kick Jeff and Gus's ass as they're trying to get into the truck, uh, he would have been one of the ninjas. My head explode. And it exploded. Pouring out for Alan Rickman. Sure, steady. I hope, you know, Claire's okay with the fact that I did this for her. Because that's a lot of blood on my hands. That, that would be disquieting for certain people. Like, oh, Claire, at last I find you again. Oh, I, I mean, I killed a thousand people on my way here. You would not believe the amount of blood that I had to get out of my clothes. Nope. All right. We'll see this part later. Nice. That was pretty slick. Galaxy Quest reference. Yeah. It's pretty sad. Pretty solid ragdoll. I'll give it to you. I keep forgetting that this reveals secrets. I should probably use that more. Explosions. I am not going to become a full-time streamer like Ray anytime soon. I'm very happy. Oh, die, mosquito. Very happy doing what I do right now. Speaking of Ray, all right. Apparently, he's clubbed 138 people to death. I mean, someday maybe I can. Oh, okay. Do I have cover from any of this? Climb on the light fixture. That's where it's safe. Okay, there we go. I should be safe from that one back there. Two and a half D is a uh, is thing. It's been recorded. Ha! 
Haha! <laughs> That'll erase the footage. Because that's how cameras work. Thank you, Entorian Scriber, again. I'm sorry that you uh, are having insomniac issues. And, you know, sanity is really overrated anyway. Oh, it's Claire again! Oh, she's reenacting the scene from True Lies. She's Arnold Schwarzenegger. And uh, I'll come in and be Jamie Lee Curtis. Thanks, Aaron. Bye. Good night. Good luck with the midterms. Uh, I will be at E3. That's It's going to happen. I'm, I'm already committed to E3. So I'll be there. <laughs> Talk about misreading the room. Damn. Don't you, oh God, True Lies, kiss my Asperger's. It's a hell of a film. A hell of a film. Now, run your hands down your body. Slowly, slowly. Let your hands be your lover's hands. No, no. Do it slow. Do it sexy. Thanks, Erio. I do have a Punisher shirt. Uh, I've, I've been enjoying Daredevil. I like season one. I've been enjoying season two. Uh, I think... <laughs> that's a hell of a line. Now kiss me and hurry back. Carrie! Thanks for joining us. And thank you very much. Achievement! Uh, I do need to play Heavy Rain. Actually, I, I have it on the PS4. I think they just remastered it, right? So I have a code for it, but I have not... Uh, I actually played it yet. I play again. That was one of those games that I played a little bit of, and but I never had the platform on which to play the rest of it. And now I do, just not at home. So maybe that'll be my next home purchase. Oh, look at that! That's handy. I feel bad for all these missed things. I know they want to come home with me. You get an item, and you look at the gold bars down there. How do I get to that? Boop. There we go. Ruin the floors. <laughs> do we look like the NSA? Can can I do something with that? Just, nope. Okay. I, had, I mean, it's got to be something, right? It's going to bug me. Nope. Nope. Alright, I hit all the buttons. College level smarts. What? I. Uh, you know, most days I have trouble just constructing sentences, so. No. Do a lot of fixing stuff. Alright. This is a thing, clearly. But what is it? Here's something else moving. There's got to be a way to interact with this. Those are the elevator controls? Well, I can't seem to do anything. I mean, Jason only knows how to shoot. Jump and press B. That, nope. Doesn't seem to... I mean, that is that is the thing. Oh! Ah! Good call. I guess. Oh. Need something purple. I don't think I have the purple thing yet. I'll be back for you. 
I have not played Super Meat Boy. It's actually going to be free this week, right? Or uh, starting tomorrow. Super Meat Boy. But, uh, it's possible. Speaking of stramming, if you tune in tomorrow, uh, I might be playing some. We'll see. Yeah, on the Achievement Hunter official stream. So, how do I get one of those Metal Gear things? Alright. No love for Jason from the door. Jason's all about ruining the floors of every place he goes. Thank you, Stratosphere545. Uh, I do not know when Heroes and Halfwits is coming out. I mean, James. Uh, I, uh, I'm glad you find this uh, stream entertaining, though. I'm sorry if I'm less entertaining than usual. Been up a very long time. The stream last night, then I was dumb and got up. Well, we had to, I had to be at work at 9 this morning, which for me means getting up at... Uh, ooh, this is cool. Getting up at, uh, like, 6 to get the kids to school, and... Then I stayed up till, like, 2 because I was waiting on Lardy to get home and make sure she got home okay from work. Uh, by the way, uh, hug your vets, if you have a vet, because... I. Oh, I can die while using that. Good to know. Yeah, hug your vets if you have a vet because, man, they work hard for it. Uh, well, Jack was doing something different. Wasn't Claire here a minute ago? Is that her body in the... Oh, we just hit her behind some crates. Yeah, that works every time. So they don't see me anymore, right? Because I'm... I realize getting up at 6 is probably not that impressive for most of, uh, or many of you. Uh, as that would just be a totally normal time of day to get up. Uh, for me, that's, that's early. Someday, I will, I'm sure I will become full-on parent like my parents and just not be able to sleep and get up at six every day but so far have not uh, not gotten that far with my life okay. get all the ones shooting at you thing uh, tracks fairly slowly from target to target stop shooting me stop shooting me I really could use some cover or something. Some health, cover, cover health. I'm just gonna, just gonna. All right, you guys are good. Get. 9 a.m. is a good time of day to work up. That's that's you know I feel good at nine. I feel like I'm, I can take on the world. I feel like all those health packs I picked up just did nothing, and I have no health still. Or maybe I just don't understand the health system. There seems to be bars and also numbers. Oh, thank you very much, Kyle Cat. Uh, yeah, Michael, it's Michael, Jeremy, Jack. Uh, we are all now at one time or another streaming from home. So if you uh, have any interest in any of those people, Jack Patillo. Uh, AH underscore Michael, uh, duly noted gaming for Jeremy. Uh, there's a bunch of other people at RT that also stream whose uh, Twitch names I am not aware of off the top of my head, but uh, I'm sure there are plenty of people that can tell you what they are. So, there's a stream for every occasion. I hear Jordan started streaming, you know.
Michael does like to stream at ridiculous times. Because Michael is is still kind of getting his plan set up. Thank you, Meowix. Which Dove chocolate should I get? I don't know. I, I always just would go for straight up chocolate covered pretzels. That's where that's where it's at for me. But I do like the Dove ice cream bars, though. I feel like that would probably be impractical to take to a final, though. Yeah, there, Nightbot. It knows everybody. And why wouldn't it? Machine precision, right? Seriously, when the revolution comes, don't take me first. It's either a really mean jellyfish or a really polite robot. Alright, we're good. And that's just some kind of intake. Okay. Can I fight those? Should I fight those? Alright. Splash. I feel like there was a bunch of secrets there I probably could have gotten. Have I ever thought about inventing a product? Yes, but then I remembered that I lacked the talent or the skills. Alright. I'd rather try and sneak up on that heavy guy and just club him in the back of the brain. Seems like that would be an easier way to go about this. Except that he's not turning around. Whoops. Alright, turrets. Didn't see the turrets there. Or the friends. Missed a lot of things. Okay, we're good, we're good. Boop. <laughs> yes. You just broke the fourth wall with your face. I'm afraid lots of things will explode, little mad free. Everything I touch is, has the potential to go boom. Oh. Oh. This probably was the easier way. I'm real good at finding that after the fact. Favorite movies? Hmm. Again, as a general rule, I'm just going to throw out there to uh, anybody that's ever interested in knowing my favorite anything. I'm not good at favorites. Uh, oh, oh! What the hell is that? Alright, stop it. These robots are getting militant. That hurt. Um, so, I can tell you what, you know, my, whatever the first movie that's my favorite, I guess, that I enjoyed comes to mind. Like, I really enjoyed, uh, recently. Uh, I enjoyed the new Captain America movie. I'm, I'm frozen in that foam from Judge Dredd. I don't know why. I just, do, do, when somebody asks you what's your favorite something, do you actually, like, spend part of your day figuring out... I and again, I'm not, it's, I'm not saying this critically. It's just, it's just one of those things where I've, I've never really understood it myself. But do you actually... Uh, thank you, the Jewish community, and for supporting the families of the henchmen. Um, is that something like you know off the top of your head, or do you like take time to figure out? Like, you know, I think objectively, my favorite is this. Because uh, whenever somebody asks me what my favorite anything is, I never have an answer. That see, it comes up a lot during RTX. So we're going into RTX season. I figure it's a good question to ask now. But um, I just I don't I, I don't mentally classify things in that context. Which I, I absolutely understand that it is me that is is weird in this context, but I um I just never really knew how to do that. Thank you, Falk Daddy. Yeah, I usually don't have an answer for what a favorite thing is. It's like oh, it's the last thing I saw that I enjoyed. All right, I love the, the or I enjoyed the last last Captain America movie. Is it my favorite thing in the world? No. I mean, it was, it was good. There's probably a movie that I've enjoyed more. Hmm. There 
go. We got it. Okay, good. I'm glad to see that there's other people that have problems answering the favorite thing. Yeah, I mean, it's... Hey, my stamina increased while I was reading chat questions. It's something that's incredibly variable. It's like one day to the next, my favorite thing really uh, is, is entirely subject to whatever I feel like. Oh, look at that. Those things are map stations. Yep. Got it. Thank you, whoever gave the tip on that. Shoot these boxes out from under me. That's smart. Another grenade pack. Pacific Rim. Uh, well, you know. That's, that's good. It's not wrong if you meticulously rank them. It's fine. That's Some people really enjoy that. Uh, thank you, Sophie. Nice for you to drop by. I'm sorry it's so late where you are. Um, are you on the topic of E3? Due to me being at E3, again, uh, that will probably disrupt uh, stream schedule for that week. Thank you, Lightning Flourish. Welcome back. I'm sorry that lack of sleep is the way that you have found your way back to our number. This guy is amazing. Where do I go to wall jumping school? And why doesn't my flashlight alert them? And why can I club them to death that easily? Solid one to the brain. That's all it takes. Boop. 4x bonus. See you back there, robot. The robot. Futurama. Definitely up there is one of my favorite shows. I can say that one. That one comes to mind when I think about it. But that probably is no surprise to anyone considering I quote it that often. I will say this about this game. Right now, I, I don't feel like I'm going anywhere in particular. I feel like I'm just constantly following a path, and sometimes it turns out to be the way I'm supposed to go, and I, I'm always surprised when it is. Boop. Well, threw a grenade at myself. There we go. Uh... Oh, I can shoot its bullets. When I have bullets of my own. Once we've finished here and saved Claire, we'll begin our war against the bees. Do I have an interest in crime and law? Uh, I mean, thank you, Tabitha. Uh, crime and law. I mean, procedural crime dramas are fun, I guess. Uh, but other than that, only I had to look up a bunch of them when we did that one GTA Let's Play that was break actual laws. Uh, Tabitha asked, "What is my favorite line? The Gus versus Mad King rap, and how long did it take to perfect that long line you had?" We did that whole thing in lit. At, at Jeremy greatly over plays how long it took us to record it because we came off theater mode and, and had to be on off topic so we finished theater mode at 11 o'clock had to be on off topic we had to be over there at the set by like about 11 45 so we recorded the whole thing in about half an hour um and that was i went into it pretty much cold with no practice or anything so which was my fault like i should have practiced some more so we did the whole thing in about half an hour the long line was uh I think Jeremy at least does give me credit for the fact that I really didn't mess up too many lines. Um, it just the, my my main issue was he didn't have like a version of it that didn't have him talking on it, and so it was very difficult for me to hit the timing. All right, he just faded out of existence. I feel like that's what happens to stor stormtroopers too, right? 
Nope, red door. Okay. Go find Morpheus and get that pill. Um. Good, good, we, good, we, nope. We're gonna aim that way. Okay, good. You ever have one of those times when you just, man, you want to shoot someone in 3D, but you can't help but f just be 2D? It's a shame. There are new Invader Zim comics? Alright, well, I know what I'm doing later. Yeah, puppies. Emma's still in here. She's just down there. Thank you, Choco Lava Kick. Uh, asking panelists. Uh, questions to avoid are already answered RTX. Um, uh, a lot of people will ask us what our favorite something or other is. You know, I, I, I'm being non-specific because it's usually a couple, you know, favorite video game, favorite achievement, things like that. Um, so we, we've answered that one a lot. Uh, I mean, if it's usually if it's got more than, I really want to just aim a little. Just, I don't want to get your shoulder. I just want it to be a quick. Relatively painless. Oh, there it was. Alright. Um, things to avoid are just... Uh, you know. Everybody's got their own level of, of what's kind of cringy. Uh, just shouting out to obvious references. You know, like, oh, still in the air. Blah, or, you know, things like that. Uh, there's a place for those jokes, but it's definitely not the panel. Uh, you know, we've we've heard them come up there so many times uh, that uh, I would avoid that. If you've got you know a legit question about something about how we operate that you you know would like to know more about, or uh, or there's something like that, that's a great way to go with it. We love answering questions like that or anything that requires kind of some thought. Um, ooh. An M400, favorite. Yes, M400. Everyone knows that gun. For more information, I have a carbine. Uh, I mean, it's not embarrassing, really. No matter what you ask, it's not going to be that embarrassing. We're usually pretty good at uh, handling it in such a way that it's... As long as we take it... Oh, did he just fork, fork choke me? Yeah, did he just fork choke me to death? Force choke me to death? Um, we're pretty good at, uh, you know, most of the time, just throwing all sass in there and, and making it a little bit less awkward. But, uh, and you know, hey, if you had a good time... Who cares if it came off a little cringy, but at the same time, it helps to not just throw out something unoriginal. Come up with something new. That's all I ask. Thank you, Apogee. Apo... Uh, Apo... B. Had to live in a famous painting for a day? Which would it be? I... am not awake enough for that question. Um, thank you, aka Alex Skyline. Oh my god. <laughs> Tree Vinny. Uh, famous painting. I mean, Starry Night's really pretty. And there's always that whole, like, what is Moto Lisa thinking? We should really just ask her. Yes. But, uh... I'm also really not that artistically inclined, so... There's probably a bunch of good ones that I'm just not thinking about. Wow, that guy was tall. I think I just murdered Dolph Lundgren. No, he had three doctorates and was retiring tomorrow. My controller is vibrating. What does that mean? Well, we pretty much do just tell them to move along at this point if they just throw out a meme or a uh, referential joke that has been done to death. That's kind of all you can do with that sort of thing. It's like, well, uh, yeah, we get it too. But, you know. Don't want to be mean to the fans. Hey, 
Hey, Beshro. <laughs> I look forward to seeing your emote submissions. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like what they did with the light there. Can I go up there? No. Thank you, Punk Rocker. Puck Rocker. Puck Rocker 1818. Uh, Larry's not a fan of cat declawing. I mean, it's a... Uh, I don't want to put words in her mouth or anything, but that's uh, in the past she has, has told me that she's not a fan of the idea. Because it is a um, very invas invasive thing to do to a cat. I mean, you are basically lopping off, basically, this knuckle. So, you know. But, that being said... Uh, she has also told me in the past that there are certain exceptions to every rule. So there are times when the cat is destructive enough or mean enough that if you want to make it adoptable or you may want to make it acceptable to live with, that it may require the loss of certain claws. So every, every rule usually has an exception. Alright. The world just got slow. Oh, I got level 10. And an achievement. Ooh. Spin and shoot. Is it frowned upon in the UK? Yeah, you could go for the mittens approach, I suppose. There's some of those, uh, like the main coon cat, or, you know, there's certain breeds of cat. Or, you know, even just certain cat cats that are... I mean, sometimes they're just not livable. Sometimes, if it comes down to do you uh, get rid of the cat or get it declawed, then you get it declawed. It's better a better option than it going to a, a home of some kind if you just can't control it shredding things. Like, there's, there's an exception. There's always an exception. But, by and large, if it's not not completely necessary uh, I would say it's it's not a good idea can I shoot from up there okay. eh, eh, eh. No. oh man what a hero the backward shot from eh, eh. there we go This guy is... Literally, Nathan Drake's got nothing on this guy. Yeah, Maine Coon Cats can be... dangerous. I have not watched the series premiere of Preacher yet. I will do it, though, because Jeff keeps talking about it. Thank you again, Panda Star. Uh... Something we wish that the audience understood better about making the content that we make. Um, a lot of work goes into it, even if it sometimes doesn't look like it. Uh, and other than that, uh, I'm trying to think of something we haven't talked about previously, but it's uh, something we, we do care about. Even if we come come across as cavalier, like we we legitimately want to do, uh, make things that you guys enjoy and want to watch, and you know sometimes we succeed, sometimes we don't, but uh, it's not for lack of trying. We're just gonna keep going, isn't it? Yep. UK friendly stream so me and uh, Sophie can watch the whole thing without a midstream kip. Uh, if I can find a, th a way to do that, I will. It's, uh, as you can probably tell by the number of, of daddy stops I've had to this video already, I, I really picked this time because I was in hopes that it would be one where I could still get my kids to bed before going on the stream, but 
Uh, it's been harder to get them to bed at a reasonable time lately, so. Oh, that was cool. Oh, that would have been way cool. Too bad it, uh, I didn't do it right. Um, but, uh, you know, if the situation arises where I have some midday availability, I will happily do a, a, a more UK-friendly stream. Alright, I'm going to try this. <laughs> Alright, well, that was pretty cool. And then I died. Unbreakable. Green Man Arm, the Green Army Man video was awesome. Oh, wow. That was, uh, we shot that so long ago. I think we shot that pretty close to when that game came out. And we just haven't, uh, you know, we didn't release it until this point just because we hadn't got, wow, this is way back. Um, just didn't have time, and it wasn't that timely. I mean, it's a good video, but it wasn't like, oh god, we gotta get this out tomorrow so we can have the mean green cornered. Hey, Miss Music, thank you for joining us. Uh, do I visit Columbus? It's been a long time since I went to Columbus. Wow, this was a long time ago. I suck. That's a good explosion. I'm hoping I'll get back to Columbus before too much longer, but it has been a while. Okay. Nope, missed it. That looked like a headshot, right? My head explode. How long do we actually hold on to videos? It varies. Uh, if it's something that we're trying to get out, like if it's something that's really timely, we'll try and do it as fast as we can. But even then, there's so many videos to come out that at certain point, you uh, you kind of just have to kind of triage it. It's like, well, which, which one is the funniest? Which one will be the best? Um, and and just pick the one that you feel like should come out first. And so sometimes things get a back burner, unless it's GTA or Minecraft. Those are pretty much all right. Well, it's time to have one of those for today. Though to be clear, I'm uh, not complaining about that. I still actually really enjoy doing both. Especially GTA. GTA has always been kind of my my, uh, my first love in the video game world at Rooster Teeth, just because that was the one that uh, G played GTA 4 as a Let's Play was really one of the things that I suggested, and uh, which I mean I was not the first to suggest it, but I I at the time was like, all right, let's do this, and made it happen. Uh, and uh, then GTA V came out. And, you know, we've done so much with it, with the heists and all that stuff. So it's uh, still so much fun to record. Haha, map stuff and a save room. That would have been smart to do. And then a wall, a non-secret wall. <laughs> Remember when I just flooded that other room and didn't even bother looking around? That was smart. More gang beasts is probably always on the way. More stuff, more health. There's that wall again. 
do do do. Okay. How do I get to you? Secret. Secret. Can't tell if this is just like really bad camera angle and there's a way I can just jump up there or probably not. Probably missable. I'm probably about to lose this grenade upgrade. Uh, have we ever filmed a video and then watched it back and regretted it immediately? Uh, well, usually we don't even have to watch it back. We can tell almost immediately if something has gone horribly awry. Uh, that's the advantage of having done this for a while now is it's pretty quick for us to go, oh, that was a turd. Let's flush that. Um, though it uh, seems to be that I am more quick to say that, I guess, than some of the others. Have I ever said something so bad in a video that they had to cut it? I don't think so. I mean, I've said a few things that um, we we cut just because they were... Well, now I'm trying to think if I really have. Uh, boop! Well, that didn't kill him quite as fast as I'd hoped. Like, things that, you know, we were referencing or... Um, you know, that we didn't want to leak, something like that, but I don't think I've said anything that was actually so bad that it had to be cut. Pretty much the worst stuff that I've ever said is all you've all, you've heard. If I, so, you know, there have been things I've said in the past and I don't remember any of them off the top of my head, but I've said things that have, you know, upset people. Uh, especially early on when you don't realize the kind of language that you can use. Um at a place like in just conversation versus in uh, a situation where you are talking to people that you know may have more serious concerns. I'm not, I'm not explaining this well, but um, you know there are a bunch of words that and I, you know, I'm not talking about epithets or anything like that, but there, there are many words that are more hurtful, like even things like saying that's crazy or that's mad. You know, there's people that that don't like those words, and you know, some of them you have to just kind of go, all right, well, there are people that don't like those words, and I can understand why they don't like those words, but at the same time, I'd, I'd rather live in a, a world where Mad World by Gary Jules is a, an acceptable song. You know, it brought us the best Gears of War, uh, trailer ever, so it should be allowed to, to exist. And, you know, not to belittle those people that have issues with those kind of words, because, you know, everybody's had their own path, and uh, I can understand how some words can be hurtful, but, um, you know, it's at a certain point you have to let words just be words, but that's easy for me to say, so. Uh, boy, I've really... Uh, rambled on on that topic for a while. Anyway, point being, you uh, have to learn how to interact in a way that is, while still fun and still irreverent, uh, occasionally less socially abrasive. More socially conscious, maybe, is a better way to put it. Thank you, Sio Dimasiatir, Diasimatir, Damasiter, Sio Damasiter. What do you think about manga? I manga is usually my preference. If I find an anime I like, I look immediately and see if it has a manga, and I read that all the way through. <laughs> monologuing is the point of, of streaming solo. Maybe it's just because I have trouble stay, like uh, actually saying words half the time, but I'm all about repurposing words or taking words back. So... Wow! Take that, Indiana Jones. Clubbed him. Yeah. 
wish I, uh, there was... Example words got censored. <laughs> Are you reading My Hero Academia? Or Academia? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, nope, not really good at instruments. Uh, I guess at some point in my life I may have tried to learn an instrument, but... Boy, it sure looked like it was gonna hit. Now you're all dead, right? Nope, okay. Well, this ambush didn't go really that well. safe here. Well, I feel safe, but I died, so no. Oh, eyeballs are drying out. <laughs> what anime opening do you remember the most? Um, Naruto, the first season. Though, thank you again, Physical. Irish dance class, nice. Uh, do I remember the poem? No, I didn't actually read it, Katie. Um, I don't think I did, did I? I don't, I don't think I was the narrator for it. So, uh, And I guess I did briefly talk to Barb about it in the, uh, in the stuff we filmed, but I, yeah, none of it really jumps to memory. No, they're dry. It's contacts and lack of sleep. They're pretty much done. Boom, boom, boom. Whee! Secret area. Oh yeah, give me some of them grenades. 11 out of 30. I did question the killer line. Okay. I'm glad, I'm glad you remember it. Because I don't. I don't want to switch to glasses. Sir, can I go behind that thing? Drop, drop, drop. There we go. Hey, more grenades. Boy, that was two in like ten feet. Uh, I have not watched or read Erased. No, no glasses. They're way downstairs. I'm just far too lazy. Whoops. Whoops. No, nope, we're good. Guess this is fine. Uh, yeah, I wear contacts every day. Pretty much. There's clearly things down there, but I really need to get my uh, my lungs leveled up a little bit. I'm a vein. I just I don't, literally like I've I've worn my glasses to plenty of stuff at RT. I uh, they're just not comfortable. <laughs> yeah, if you if you want examples of me and my glasses, there's plenty to be had. I've worn them in several no reads. I'm sure it showed up in verses at one point or another. Um, you can find it for sure. I've not read the compound or psychopaths. Hey, Jay Solo, I'm glad it, uh, that helped. Whoops. Nope, you don't see me. Thank you again, Mad Queen. I have not tried Vegemite. Uh, it came up at RTX uh, Australia. We had a... I guess it... You, whoop, no, no, I'm not here. I'm just a box. A wheelless box. Uh, there was a Rocket League tournament we did where 
one of the penalties was you would have to eat dried Vegemite on is the Weedabix, I think? It was, uh... It was not... really set up to look appetizing, I don't think. So, thankfully, I, uh... I won my round and did not have to experience whatever that would have been. Dude, let's, let's jump in there. It seems safer. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. Keep, keep going there. Let's go, champ. Oh! Ooh. Whoa. This is where Qui-Gon Jinn died. Look, I hear Vegemite is, is fine in the situations it's meant to be used. And that people will frequently... Uh, Ow. Oh, they're gassing me down. Get, get down, idiot. Get down. All right, well, you've chosen to die here, Jason. I can do nothing for you. Let let go. Let go. Did they give up? All right, cool. Just cost me all my health. Uh, anyway, I hear, yeah, that Vegemite is fine if you eat it in the correct amounts in the correct context. It's just that everybody tries to get you to eat it like a large lump of it uh, on a spoon, not on toast or something. So, Alright, well I gave up on that real fast. I'm sure I'm fine. Aussies are taking crack. I'm just reading the, that from the chat, by the way. I have no opinion on their crack consumption. Alright. And they're gassing me down again. Eh, eh, three health. And I ran into a taser wall. Nutella. I also don't like Nutella. Uh, Lari loves it. But, uh, I've never been a fan. I don't like hazelnut. Ooh, level up. Yeah, see? A lot of people, yeah, well, you know. You can, you can... Live with your. You can just keep all the Nutella there. It's it's fine. It's more for you. Thank you, physical. Irish dance battle to the Mad King Ryan versus podcast King Gus throwdown. Dancing in your oops. Dancing in your bits. All right. Uh, when you eat Vegemite, only have a little bit on toast. Most people don't like that because they eat too much. Well, see, that's what I hear, Katie. It's you go overboard with Vegemite and it goes bad real fast. Welcome, Nina. Stessentani in. Stessentani. Got it. I'm going to call it a win. Really good in cookies. Well, I, I, you know, I have had a Nutella um, that was uh, made into a cheese. It was like a Nutella cheesecake, which was actually pretty good. Alright, so that guy comes up there. He's going to be after that guy. I need to get through that door, though. Okay. Nutella makes your lips tingle. Yeah, that's... not good, I would imagine. Where did he go? All right. Note the hole in the ceiling. You mean over there? Oh, over there. 
I got it. Thanks. Good call. Thank you. Tay has pants. Was that pants? Cheesecake. Best flavor of cheesecake. Hmm. Well, it's, I mean, we have Cheesecake Factory here. Yeah. Which is quite delightful. Did I say I've had a Nutella? I had, yeah, I think I was trying to say I have Nutella cheesecake. I have one quantum of Nutella. Again, there's several things in life, and I think Nutella is easily one of them, that uh, having someone in your... Oh, it's shiny. No, don't... Jump down there and get the armor. Uh, you want to have someone with you that doesn't like Nutella so that you get more Nutella. No, 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 get the suit! Oh, crap. Is it? We got one piece of suit. Alright. Meanwhile, in the Red Skull's lair. Attention all members, Armored Defense Squad. Spread out and find him before he does more damage. Pamphs, it happens to the best of us. Oh. Alright, well, somehow we turned that one piece of suit into several pieces of suit. Yep. 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 Or we just use the door. Nope. I think. Nope. There we go. You know what they say 18th tries the charm. It's only what purple does. Oh, we remembered Claire. I don't know, jetpack. Something from some armor I saw. Can it fly us out of here? I don't think so. Short burst only. But I'm getting around faster. Find that armor you mentioned. That'll get us both out of here. Well, I saw it. Briefly. And part of it got away. Wow. He refused to notice until the end. That was a man committed to ignorance. I shall know nothing until I know nothing forever. Doop, boop, boop. Grenade. Hello, getting stranger. Nutella. Thank you, Drunken Clams. Thank you for subscribing for two months. Wow. Okay, there's got to be a way to make that actually show up. I will learn. By God, all I can promise you is that I shall learn before the next stream. I almost called it Stram. Hashtag save the Stram. I don't think I'm winning that fight, but. Mm -hmm. Do I go back and go up? Nah, yeah, there's still so much more to do over here. Beep. I feel like I would be completely untrustworthy with a jetpack. There's nowhere. There's no, no version of this world in which I should have one. I mean, I, not that I could, there's really much I could do. Thank you, the Grillmaster. Uh, you know, jetpack related. How do I blow up something up? Well, that's a good start. Uh, I'm guessing I need some kind of RPG. Whee! Right, the purple. Environmental. All right. <laughs> Fake hashtags. Yeah, sure. Why not? All 
I won't hashtag, but I'll uh, ask people to hashtag in my stead. Boy, Jason got on board with the skin-tight clothing thing real fast, right? Thank you, Spencer Bain. Boop. Thank you for resubbing. That's right, I guess we're rolling around to the beginning of the month again, so... It's a resub night. If that's how that works, which I don't know. Also a thing. Thank you again, Physical. I mean, Katie. Good luck at the ophthalmologist. Yeah, you know you know, you don't notice. Thank you, Imperier. Perrier, five one four. Whoop. It's gotta be an achievement to just waste all these things. I that I'm getting I'm having too much fun doing it, so it has to be an achievement. Get it? Oh. Did I get it? I feel like I got it that time. <laughs> no. Thank you, the Kalfu. I don't think I would ever get saved the string I'm trending. And even if I did, I, I doubt it would make any difference. You know, they're committed to the stream. Stream. But hey. Alright. If you would like to see another stream uh, with me in it, come by Achievement Hunter stream tomorrow on YouTube Gaming. I will be streaming with Mika. I don't know what yet, but it might be Super Meat Boy. We'll see. Because I've never played it before and it was free. That'll be, I believe, at 11? I don't know what I just did there. Okay. A Macarena! Got it. Oh, nope, nope, nope. That was dumb. Grab it. There we go. I'm not deterred. I know I can make it now. Well, it's we stream on YouTube gaming for uh, most team and her stuff because, and not to say we will not eventually have some kind of Twitch option, but... Um, the being able to do multi-caming stuff is pretty awesome for us. Uh, I think we're doing Achievement Hunter type streams. That's actually far better than trying to just get people to... Thank you again, Hyperactive Arsonist. Uh, yeah, most of the enemies in this game are uh, not terribly clever. Uh, anyway, the multi-cam thing. Or at least, uh, I don't know, maybe if you guys have watched them. Uh, I assume that that's a better way to enjoy it. Um, and I know you guys could always, like, multi-stream, you know, do kind of like the side-by-side -side streams, but, uh, and, you know, you can still do that on YouTube, but it, uh, just seems closer, really, to our kind of content to be able to have, well, that wasn't a thing I could stand on, um, to be able to have that multi-cam option, you know. Clearly, that's a way down, but, oh well. Hmm. Love the multicam streams. Yeah. Get old red doors. Yeah, I think multicam is definitely the way to go for doing achievement or streams. So that is why we use YouTube. That and I. I mean, if I'm honest. I feel like YouTube is a little bit more reliable. I mean, obviously you saw the kind of issues I was having uh, 
trying to get this stream to run can, you know, uh, without more buffering and, and things like that. Uh, it just doesn't have the audience, which, you know, Twitch will probably get there to be, well, get there. They were there first. But, uh, at the moment, this, the Twitch is just where a lot more of the audience is. Thank you, Bonnie Hollyoak. Good to see you again. First day of winter in Australia. Wow. That must be nice, because it is hot as hell here. You are amazing. Thanks for being here. I'm glad I can make you laugh. Haha. -ha. Wait, this is where I came from? Well, alright. I thought I was smart. Yeah, it's up there. Can't get there. What a catch, Ashley. Nice to see you again. How do you feel about Bioshock? I love Bioshock. Uh, Bioshock Infinite, for whatever flaws it may have had uh, in certain areas, I thought it was a beautiful game uh, with an amazing score. Uh, so, I enjoyed it. Artistically, I enjoyed it. That's one of those games where... Uh, thank you for subbing, Dr. Yellow. Where I feel like video games can defend themselves as art. Is games like Bioshock Infinite. Oh, okay. I think i got to pack it in for the night. Um, though if some... We can... Uh, any final requests before I uh, close it down for the night? Classical literature... Uh, I'm going to go pass out. Yes, Bioshock is amazing. I think uh, I'm, I want to play it again with uh, higher graphics on 4K just to um, <laughs> read Go the Fuck to Sleep. The Raven. Green Eggs and Ham. Read something Australian. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that... Sonnet 130. Ooh. Check the mod chat. Sure, I will do that. Sorry, Moldoy Javol. Javol, quick eat 90 chickens. That's not a legitimate. I can't sing tonight. Do an Australian accent. I can't. <laughs> Bioshock Infinite, sure, we can do that. Stream it. Yeah, why not? Fist bump. Bap. A lot of different sonnets. Mistborn? Well, well, it seems like that would be... Get your dog? Well, she's right there in the sleep. I don't want to wake her up. Look. Boop! Sleeping Emma. Next to boxes. Thank you, Penguin. Uh, no, there's no fixing that. There are weapons of mass destruction when they have the cones on. Can't help. Act 5, Scene 1 of Hamlet. Uh, go the fuck to sleep. Thank you, Banana Waffle Snort. You're the best. Thanks for being here. Love you, love you all. Thank you. Room tour. Yep, that's it. There's a dog in it. There's a bed. Bookshelves. You pretty much saw the whole thing earlier if you were here when I was doing the VR stuff just because it's uh, all visible. Thank you, Nupinoop296. Uh, Russian accent, uh, you're a terrible sky cow, uh, sky, excuse me, you're a terrible spy cowboy. Obviously, I've watched The Man from Uncle. Uh, so I'm doing a non, uh, an, uh, someone that did a Russian accent that was also not Russian. We do, we have many things in Russia. Oh yeah, my, my voice is definitely on the way out. Um... Let's. There's so many. Let's see, I'm curious to see what this one is. <clears throat> yeah, you know what? I think I may save any any further readings for next time, just because I am done. My voice is is finished. Uh, can confirm, not Russian. Yep. Uh, anyway, thank you all. Uh, we'll we'll do some kind of reading next week if or Thursday. Sorry, if you uh if you like. But um, 
I'm going to wrap it up and get some sleep. I will read Go the Fuck to Sleep next Thursday. Or this Thursday. Thursday. I will stream Thursday. You know, unless the storms take out the power, which is entirely possible. So, uh, Good night, all. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, sorry if it was a little tame tonight. Uh, and I just sat here and played a video game. But uh, anyway... Thank you all for joining me, and I will see you Thursday. Hope you have a wonderful Wednesday, and good night.